I grew up uh, just always sketching. I did what other kids did in the neighborhood, you know, played outside, rode my bike, but a lot of times I found myself at night or sitting alone, I would just sketch, and, and it's just always been a, something I did. I've been in Knoxville for um, a little over 20 years. So this is home, my family's here, my daughter was born here, so. Everybody's been cooped up and so it's a great day to be out. And I mean, look at that, it's incredible. It's my quarantine family. When I started working downtown for the gallery, it was during that time, this was 16 years ago, all the resurgence downtown was happening and that just really, really struck a chord with me. I loved the, how the buildings seemed to curve over you and the reflection of the rain on the streets and the car lights and the, you know, the cafe lights flashing, the marquees flashing, all that is just, I don't know. It's just, it's, I love it. It's just great. I was introduced to pastel as the first color medium. And so pastel is the medium of choice that I've always used. I can't say that I'd do it normally on concrete. <laughs> Using the brush is a really great way to get the pastel into the concrete, but it also cleans it up. And my work is primarily very expressive. I like the, the beauty of the, the line and uh, just the looseness of it, where it looks like a painting, where you can see the brush strokes and I keep it very expressive. My cousin likes to say that it's brushy realism. <laughs> A, a typical typical subject that I love just the our, the heart of our downtown with uh, the Tennessee theater marquee and the buildings and it has a lot of meaning to me and um, so hopefully I can do it justice I guess